again to all of you. This is the first session of our upskilling course on the Billings Ovulation Method after the basic teacher training course on this particular topic, no? Billings Ovulation Method. So let's begin. So these slides can be used in the pre-K na, and after this, I'll be giving you a copy. So take note that the Billings Ovulation Method is a natural way to postpone pregnancy. For those couples who would like to abstain because of what? Of grave reason. Just what the Yubane Vite is telling us. If couples are in grave situation and there is a need to space the number of their children, the church teaches to take into account the natural rhythm of the body without offending moral principles. No? So the Billings Ovulation Method as a way to postpone pregnancy. At the same time, it can accompany couples to achieve pregnancy, and you are very well versed in this one. And the last one is to monitor reproductive health. Okay, so let's continue. It is easy to learn, simple to use. It is re reliable, according to the World Health Organization, upon series of what studies, it is 99.% effective. No drugs or devices, and then no side effects. And it is what? It is morally accepted in all cultures. No? So again, these slides can be used no? in your pre cana So let's have a, a quick review of our female and male fertility. Female fertility begins from puberty. No? Cyclic, potentially fertile pro, for approximately eight days no? in a cycle. But it ends, finishes at menopause. So take note, ang isang babae habang siya ay lumalapit sa menopausal period, ang kanyang fertile periods ay umiikli din. No? So approximately 8 days nung siya ay bata-bata pa, pero habang siya ay tumatanda, ito ay nababawasan. Maari maging lima, maging apat, o maging tatlo. So this is the the female fertility. What about when we speak of the male fertility? Male fertility, sperm production begins at puberty. We call it spermatogenesis, the beginning of the production of sperm. The moment sperm is produced at the age of puberty, it what? It continues throughout life. That is why male fertility begins from what? from puberty until death. No, totally different from the female fertility. So if you will join the two, we call it couple fertility. And couple fertility leads to what? To the transmission of life. The participation of what? Of man and woman in God's ability in creating an immortal soul. No? So you can also discuss the, the male reproductive system in the pre -cana. So look at the different parts. We, we start at the bottom. The scrotum, yung balat, no? the skin that covers the testes no? or the testes. So testes, testes. Epididymis. Ang epididymis, ito po yung mga tubes inside the testes. Okay, going up. You have the prostate gland, no? and then you have the seminal vesicle, and then the urinary bladder. So the seminal vesicle is the temporary storage of the sperm. You have the pubic bone, ductus deferens, uh, that is in Latin, in English, vas deferens. No? Diyan po dumadaan ng sperm coming from the testes, going to the storage room. And what is the storage room? Seminal vesicle. And you have the penis no? and the spongy urethra. No? It will spand. Uh, meaning it's flexible by nature. That is why it is known to be spongy. Okay? The urethra is the passage of the urine and also of the sperm. Kaya lang hindi sila sabay. Pag dumadaan ang sperm, hindi pwedeng dumaan ng urine. Pag dumadaan ang urine, hindi rin pwedeng dumaan ang sperm. So this is the male reproductive system. Okay? 
under the influence of testosterone, no? Okay? LH and, and FSH now will be what? Will be produced, no? So, immature sperm cells develop through several stages, eventually become mature sperm cells. Saan, nag, saan nagmamature ang sperm? Ang sperm ay nagmamature inside the epididymis, the one that I mentioned earlier. Epididymis is the what? Is the area wherein sperm would be produced and will undergo maturation. Epididymis, yan ay yung mga, it is a tube na nakakoil inside the testes or testis. It takes roughly 74 days for sperm development. Take note of that, no? 74 days with an additional 12 days for final maturation. As the sperm traverse the length of the epididymis, no? Look how long is the epididymis? Six meters, no? So 74 days to what? For the sperm to develop. And after that, it, it, uh, it needs more 12 days for final maturation. As it moves inside, ibig sabihin ng traverse, traverse from the Latin word um, transia, no? across, no? traverse the length of what we call the epididymis. And dun siya sa loob, um, uh, circling, no? moving. After another 18 to 24 hours, they gain motility, ability to move spontaneously. Okay? Look, another 18 to 24 hours in order for the tail to move, to gain motility and ability to move spontaneously. <coughs> Mature sperms are then stored in the tail of the epididymis. No? So the epididymis, yung tail, yung pakadulo niya, doon nilalagay lahat ang mature sperm. During the process of ejaculation, sperm from the epididymis pass through the ejaculatory ducts. Okay? So we call it the ductus deferens and mixed with fluids from the seminal vesicle. Look at the seminal vesicle, the prostrate and the bulbo retal glands to form seminal fluid. No? So meaning, the moment there will be an ejaculation, the sperm from the epididymis will run through the ductus deferens. The moment it enters the seminal vesicle, it will gain what? Another fluids, mahahalo, mixed with fluids no? in the seminal vesicle. And those are coming from the prostate gland and the bulborethal glands no? from the seminal, uh, to form the seminal fluid. I'm sorry, I repeat to form the seminal fluid. So similarly, um, that is also happening with the, with the female. Merong LH, meron ding FSH. But take note, yung LH at saka FSH is meant for what? Meant for the production of testosterone and for what? And for the production of what we call the sperm. The FSH produces what? Spermatogenesis. LH will go to the cells will go to the cells of Leydig sa loob ng testes cells of Leydig in order to produce continuous production of testosterone I repeat FSH to produce sperm LH to go to what to the cells of Leydig to produce more testosterone and it will last until the end of time no Hanggang mamatay yung lalaki. Continuous from puberty until death. For the female, it's the same. There is also the FSH and the LSH. If you still remember, the FSH is the one responsible for what? For the recruitment and selection of the best egg. No? What is the function of the LH? If the egg is already mature and ready for ovulation, FSH will stop. LH will be the one to cause ovulation. Kaya ka nag ovulate because of the presence of LH. Kaya nagigising ang mga itlog mo. Pinipili ang pinakamagaling during the development process. Ang gumagawa niya na FSH. 
just as the pituitary in the brain controls the production of sperm in the male, so it controls the growth and release of the egg. Yung growth, sino nagko-control? FSH. Yung release ng egg, sino nagko-control? LH in the female body. Same hormones, male and female. FSH, production of sperm. LH go, will go to the cells of Leydig to produce testosterone. Okay, what about FSH in female? FSH for the growth of the egg towards maturity. If it is already mature, LH will release the egg known as ovulation. Clear? So this is something, that, again, that we can mention in the pre-cana. And then you can now enumerate all the different parts of the female reproductive system similar to the male. Starting at the lower one, vulva, you have the packets of Shaw, vagina, cervix, the isthmus, which is the what? Which is the, the peak of the, of the cervix, nasa taas yun, no? Endometrium lining, and then you have the, the fallopian tube, and then you have the ovaries, no? Dalawa yan. So cervix, Ismus, endometrium, fallopian tube, no? So that will be what? It comprises the entire uterus, no? So, and if you don't have any idea, these slides will give you the definition or the function of each of the following parts. Ovary, in a very simple term, do not complicate it during the pre -cana. Gawin yung madali lamang yung mga function. Do not Google high technical terms, no? Only use simple terms to our people attending the pre cana where the egg is produced. Very simple. Palopian tubes, okay? Captures the release egg. Yan ang nagka-capture. Paglabas ng eggs, pupunta sa palopian tubes, no? Captures the release egg from the ovary. Helps the fertilized egg to travel to the uterus. Kapag na-fertilized na, it is the fallopian tube no? that will accompany the egg leading to the uterus for implantation. Endometrium. The endometrium, the one in color red, that is the lining of the uterus. Sometimes it is very thick. Sometimes it's thin no? due to the influence of the hormones. Endometrium prepares for implantation. Diyan ko makapit ang baby sa lining. No? It is shed. Kapag walang fertilization, that lining will be dislodged. That lining will shed and we call it menstrual bleeding. Cervix, the neck of the uterus. Okay? And what else? Contains crypts which produce mucus. Okay, very simple, easy to understand. What is the role of the vagina? The vagina, the role would be where the baby exits during childbirth. No? So kaya yung mga terms dito, it is not bastos in nature. No? Simple but scientific. No? Vulva. Vulva, external part of the female genitals. External, kasi kita mo agad yan eh. Okay? It is the sensing organ for cervical mucus, not the fingers. It is the vulva. Packets of show. Okay? I mentioned that last time in our study, but I will have a deep study again of the packets of show in our previous upskilling courses. No? The packets of show, two folds in the lower end of the vagina. Okay? At different times in the cycle, they reabsorb moisture from any discharge passing through the vagina. The second bullet point is happening during the luteal phase. No? Wherein kahit merong mga mucus, may seminal fluid, inaabsorb niya yung moisture. Kaya ang sensation ng isang babae would be dry no? during, the, during the luteal phase. But again, we will have a special session on the packets of show in our next uh, Saturdays of upskilling course. So, hindi mo, kaila, hindi mo na kailangan pong mag-memorize 
during the pre-K na, if a flash mo lang ito and you can run through and all attendees will be able to understand because you are only using simple words and terms, no? not very technical. How to observe mucus? I will run through this slide a little bit faster because we already discussed this one. No? A cycle lasts from the beginning of menstruation to the beginning of the next menstruation. We call it a cycle. As I mentioned last time, it can be short, it can be long, it can be average, depending on the length of the BIP. Okay? As the woman walks about, she can tell when menstruation begins. She feels wet at the vulva. When she looks, she sees blood. In the same natural way, she senses the presence of mucus when it arrives at the vulva and notices how it changes in both the sensation and appearance during the different phases of her cycle. Sperm live in the mucus. The mucus tells the woman when she can conceive, when she cannot conceive. No? So take note of the following. So you know the four phases of the cycle. You have the menstruation. You have the BIP. There are two. The BIP of dry and the BIP of unchanging pattern of discharge. It will be good in the pre cana because that is an initial instruction that we focus on the BIP of dry. Okay? And then after that, we have the fertility. The fertility begins on the first appearance of mucus, develops into a wet, ending with a slippery sensation. It includes the first three days of the luteal phase. So the entire period is considered to be the fertile period. And then the fourth day of the luteal phase is the beginning of the infertility. Okay, maliwanag po yan. During the test, may sumagot. Akala niya ang luteal phase ay nagsisimula after one, two, three. No, the luteal phase begins on day one after the peak day. Okay? But the infertility begins on the fourth day past the peak. I hope this is clear to all of you. So menstruation, the first day of flow, flowing. The first day of flowing bleed as it is the beginning of a new cycle. Okay? That is menstruation. The length of the cycle is determined by the basic infertile pattern. During these days, the cervix is closed with a thick plug of mucus. So either you are a BIP of dry or BIP of unchanging pattern of discharge. During the days of BIP, both no, types of BIP, the mucus plug is there closing the cervix. BIP, applies only to the pre-ovulatory phase. It is unchanging pattern. It is always dry. If there is a mucus, it's always the same. Unchanging pattern can be a pattern of complete dryness. Color green or vertical line, dry, can be unchanging discharge. No? There will be a discharge, but the discharge is unchanging. Same day after day. These are the two types of the BIP. In average length cycle, only one pattern of BIP. Isa lang. Ikaw ba ay BIP of dry? Or ikaw ba ay BIP of unchanging pattern of discharge? Hindi pwedeng dalawa. Only one BIP in an average length cycle. No? Kaya kung ikaw ay BIP of dry, yaan ang pattern mo habang buhay. Magbabago lamang yan kapag ikaw ay nag-introduce ng mga pills or hormonal, artificial hormones, I mean, no? Or ikaw ay nalalapit na sa tinatawag nating menopausal stage. Ikaw ay parating BIP of dry, hindi magbabago. Hindi ka magiging BIP of discharge. Kung ikaw ay BIP of discharge, yan ang pattern mo forever. Unless, sabi ko nga, you introduce hormonal contraceptives in your system or you are approaching menopausal stage. So these are the two patterns. Kaya itatanong nyo sa inyong client, no? Ano ang pattern mo? Ayan. Ikaw ba ay dry, BIP, or unchanging pattern of dry? 
Okay? The length of the cycle is determined by the BIP, not of the mucus. Kasi ang sabi natin, ang length ng mucus secretion, yung, yung pinakamahaba is 8 days. No? So bakit humahaba ang cycle? It is because of what we call the BIP. It can be a long BIP resulting to a long cycle or it is average 7 to 9 days of BIP in a cycle or it can be short, no BIP. Mucus combines with the menstruation, no BIP or the BIP days are very little. This is the one that determines if the cycle will be short Average or long, it is the BIP. Okay, so fertility changing pattern, no? which I keep on mentioning. Mucus starts with the sticky, ending with the slippery. Changing pattern leading to slippery. Okay, peak is the last day of the slippery. Ovulation can occur on peak day or within 48 hours after the peak. It can be in day one or day two after the peak. Cervix is open, allowing entry of sperm. And then, peak day is the last day of the slippery sensation. It is the usual day of ovulation. But ovulation, as I mentioned last time, it might be on day one or day two after the peak. On day three, the egg can leave for up to 24 hours after ovulation. So maybe uh, towards the end of the, the life of the egg. And on the fourth day past the peak, cervix is already completely closed. No? By the end of the third day after the peak, the cervix is completely closed by the mucus plug. Until the time there are still channels of mucus for sperm transport and survival. Meaning, sa day one, sa day two, sa day three, may bukas, bukas pa ang cervix, no? hindi pa totally close. Kaya, look at the item there, sperm can still enter. Sperm can still survive during the first three days of dry after the peak day. The egg is totally dead. No? The, pe the egg is totally dead on what? On the fourth day of the luteal phase. Menstruation will occur 14 days after the peak, service is closed during this particular days. No? So sometimes a woman may experience changes from her basic infertile pattern. No? Look at the one in blue box. May pagkakataon, nagarating ang mucus, pero ang mucus ay hindi magiging slippery. Kapag ang mucus ay hindi naging slippery, magkakaroon ng bleeding. At ang tawag natin dyan ay withdrawal bleeding. Kaya sabi dito sa slide, avoid intercourse during the days of discharge and bleeding. We are referring to what? The withdrawal bleed. Pagkatapos nito, bumilang ng 1, 2, 3, sa ikaapat na araw, huwag nyo pong i-apply ang peak rule. Kasi there is no peak dun sa blue box. On the fourth day, we apply EDR2 alternate evenings no yaan ang irregular pattern ang irregular pattern ba pwedeng maging regular sa darating na panahon yes look at the slide dubating ang time nagkaroon na ng x no so we need to make the mother what relax wala mo na mga stress etc in order for the fertile pattern to go back or resume again so that's it no it does not matter if this occurs. It is okay. You can confidently use the method with whatever no? the cycle would be. Kahit ikaw ay irregular cycle, kahit ikaw ay regular approaching menopausal, ikaw ay nag nagtumigil sa pills, no? you can apply the Billings ovulation method. Okay. So, Let's continue. Okay, nag mute ko muna kayo, no? So I will mute you first so that you will not Okay, let me continue. Okay, so take note of this principle. 
Cycle begins with menstruation, which I already mentioned earlier. Endometrium is shed, ovary is resting. Okay, so this is something that you can show during the pregana to give an example of what, of what is happening to the lining during menstruation. The lining would be dislodged. It will shed. And during these days, cervix is open. Vulva is considered to be wet. Symbol is shaded circle. You can use a red color. Three dots would be for spotting. No mucus felt or seen during these days. No? Kaya lang, may mga araw, there are occasions that during the end of menstruation, mucus now is starting to appear. So this is a sample of a chart showing the symbol of menstruation and at the same time, the color red no? for menstrual bleeding. Apply the rule for this one. Heavy bleeding obscures obscure mucus when ovulation is early. Rules for avoiding conception. Waiting during heavy bleeding. So what rule? EDR1. Avoid intercourse during the days of bleeding. Rules for having a baby. Wait during heavy bleeding also. No? Okay? So wait for the bleeding for both. And then after menstruation, you can now tell to your pre-cana participants, you have now the BIP. Sperm cannot enter in the uterus during the BIP. Sperm dies immediately because the cervix is closed. Look at the diagram below. Look at the sperm. They are all outside. No entry. No? Ovary is resting during these days. No? This is what we call unchanging pattern. What is an unchanging pattern? Either you are always dry, 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 unchanging, or you have a mucus, but the mucus is the same day after day. But as I mentioned to you, during the initial instruction, focus only on the unchanging pattern of dry. Nothing is seen, nothing is felt. The symbol is vertical line, or you may use a color green. Okay, for those couples wherein they discover that they are, what, the, the wife is what? BIP of unchanging pattern of discharge, use the yellow color. That's why we have a green or you may have a yellow. So these are the days of the BIP. And what is the rule for the BIP? The rule would be EDR2, alternate evenings are available during the days of BIP. And all of you are already well-versed in the, in the rules. No? Then the changing pattern of fertility. No? Change from BIP. BIP stops, mucus starts to appear, and mucus develops into a changing pattern from a sticky going to wet, ending with a slippery sensation. So if there would be a changing pattern of mucus, we can tell our participants in the pre -cana, the ovary is active, cervix produces a lot of mucus, no? Plug leaves the cervix, the plug is no longer available. Cervix is open, sperm can now enter. Okay, vulva no longer dry. The symbol that you will be using is a circle. Sensation will change. Appearance will change. Cloudy, it becomes clear. Sensation will change. Sticky, wet, slippery. There is a changing happening during the potential fertility. No? So look at our 9 to 13. Circle would be the symbol. Okay, Fertile pattern is a changing pattern. No? Changing from a sticky going to a wet sensation, ending with a slippery sensation. Even the appearance is changing, no? Starting from a cloudy, then suddenly you are surprised, it becomes clear, and then ending with a slippery sensation. The no genital contact during these days, EDR3, avoid intercourse during the days of mucus until it ends with a slippery. There is a peak. 
including the first three days of the luteal phase, no? EDR3. For those who, are, who want to have a baby, intercourse resume no? when the mucus is already a slippery, if the mucus is already what? With a slippery sensation. So all the rules are here, no? So no need to memorize. During the days of the, of the peak day, no? Vulva feels swollen, soft, and slippery. No? That is the slippery at the vulva increases sensitivity and swelling at the vulva. The last day of slippery sensation is the most fertile day of the cycle. Ovulation is imminent. Okay, we've been hearing this, and I hope you will gain mastery about this one. Peak can only be determined in retrospect after slippery sensation has disappeared. Take note of that. You will only be able to identify the peak day if the following day you are no longer slippery. And you know that, no? No need to go deep into this one. You are well-versed on identifying the peak day. For those couples who are avoiding conception, no genital contact, EGR3, avoid intercourse during the days of discharge until it develops into what? Into a peak, including the first three days of the luteal phase. No? Rules for having a baby, intercourse when the vulva is slippery and swollen, namamaga, and over the three days after the peak, sa mga mag-asawang nahihirapang magkaanak, huwag kayong mag intercourse pagdating ng mucus na sticky. Yan, no? Pagdating ng sticky mucus, kailangan nyo mag-abstain, mag-ipon ang lalaki, mag-replenish. At ang intercourse lamang ay mangyayari sa slippery mucus. Okay? At isama ang 1, 2, 3 to achieve a higher chance of what? Pregnancy. Kapag dumating ang mucus at inaraw-araw nyo ang intercourse hanggang peak day at 1, 2, 3, hindi magbubuntis. Very difficult. Kailangan mag-intercourse sa BIP, alternate evenings. Ito po ay para sa mag-asawang nahihirapang magkaanak. Difficulty to conceive. Intercourse during the days of BIP, alternate evenings para mabawasan yung mga sperm no? doon sa epididymis. Pagdating ng unang araw ng mucus, doon mag abstain Magre-replenish naman yung lalaki. At pag naging slippery, doon nang mag intercourse Intercourse when the vulva is slippery and swollen and over the three days after the peak in order to have a greater chance of pregnancy. Clear? So the three days post after the peak. So kapag natapos na ang peak day, look at the cervix. No, Little by little, the cervix is closing. And the one responsible for closing the cervix is the progesterone. And where is the origin of the progesterone? The corpus luteum. In Filipino, in Tagalog, yan po yung balat ng itlog. Paglabas ng itlog during ovulation, naiiwan yung balat. Yung balat na yan, the corpus luteum, is very important. It supplies progesterone to the body of the woman. It closes the cervix in three days and it triggers the packets of show in order to make all sensations dry. Kaya parati kang dry sa luteal phase after the peak. Kaya ka dry because the packets of show ginagawa niyang tuyo. During the BIP, kapag nag-intercourse kayo, yung seminal fluid ay wet. Kasi wala namang packet, so ay wala naman doong corpus luteum. Ang corpus luteum nangyayari after the peak day. No? Okay? Kaya sa, after the peak day, luteal yon may corpus luteum. Ang corpus luteum, dinadry niya ang sensation. Kaya kahit makakita ka ng seminal fluid, your sensation is dry. Eh kaya lang yung progesterone mauubos coming from the corpus. Pag naubos na ang progesterone, ano mangyayari? Darating na ang mens. Diba? Kaya nga, towards the end of the luteal, you experience wet. 
At pag naramdaman mo na yung wet, it is a signal that menstruation is about to commence. Clear? So the peak is recognized in retrospect. The following day, the next day, you are no longer dry. So mark it with a cross or with an X. So that would be the peak day. Day 13 is the peak day. 14, bakit equal? Kasi baka siya ay dry pero may nakikitang discharge. No? You know that. Marami tayong examples of that. No? So 14 is the beginning of what? The beginning of the luteal phase. Vulva no longer wet or slippery. The endometrium now prepares for pregnancy if there will be intercourse during the days of what? Mucus secretion. During the days of the changing pattern of discharge. If fertilization no, happens, sperm joins egg in the tube. Okay, yun. May fer kung merong intercourse. And what will happen now would be there will be implantation later. No? Ovulation occurs on only one day of the cycle, isang beses ka lang mag-ovulate either during the peak day, pwede sa day one, or sa day two after the peak day. Okay? So, look at 14, 15, 16. 16, ang ginamit niya is color green, vertical line. No? It means no discharge. Dry, nothing is seen, nothing is, nothing is felt. Eh, bakit mayroong baby? Doon sa 14, 15, 16. Kaya may baby because those days are possible days of pregnancy. Magkaka-baby ka, di ba? Three days after the peak. Ano ang rule, again, to avoid uh, pregnancy or conception? No genital contact on 1, 2, 3 after the peak day. That is EDR3. No intercourse on day 9. Look at the chart. Until 13 peak day, including the first three days of the luteal. Rules for having a baby. Intercourse is resumed on day 13, 14, 15, and 16. Okay? For high chances of pregnancy. Okay? Vulva dry or sticky, no longer wet or slippery after the peak day. Diba? That is why if you are dry, you use color green in the luteal phase or vertical line. If you have a discharge, which is no longer wet, either sticky or dry discharge, you use a yellow color or an equal sign during the days of the luteal. Okay? Infertile egg is already dead on the fourth day past the peak day. What would be the rule? On the fourth day past the peak, intercourse is available every day at any time until the next cycle begins, which is menstruation. Rules for having a baby, intercourse at any time. Because uh, during these days, no, 17 until 27, there is no really chance to have a child. Okay, let me go back to that. Okay, no chance of having a baby because on the fourth day past the peak, look at the diagram at the right. Look at the sperm. Moving in circle, they cannot enter. Sperm dies immediately. Okay, so after the luteal phase, no, the endometrium again will be shed. No, so how long is the luteal phase? Eleven to sixteen days. So you have a new cycle. Again, color red or shaded circle. Okay, EDR one. Avoid intercourse during the days of bleeding. So if you want to have a baby, you wait until mucus starts to appear. If you're having difficulty, have intercourse during the days of slippery when the vulva is swollen, including one, two, three after the peak day. So four simple rules of the Billings ovulation method. EDR1, avoid intercourse during the days of menstruation. EDR1. Okay, no intercourse on days of heavy bleeding because there are occasions wherein mucus might be present. No? And the presence of the bleeding would obscure the presence of the mucus. Okay, the, that is a condition wherein, I will go back, no? 
This is a condition wherein no BIP and the mucus overlaps with what? The mucus overlaps with the menstruation. Diba? Ang ganda? EDR1. I will repeat this diagram. Look at this. The reason behind we are avoiding, preg uh, avoiding intercourse during the days of menstruation for those couples who are postponing pregnancy because of this reason, no? only Dr. John Billings were able to discover this that there are occasions wherein the mucus combines with the menstrual bleeding. And you cannot see the mucus because the presence of the bleeding obscure the presence of the mucus. Okay? Early date, EDR2. Okay? EDR2 tells us alternate evenings are available for intercourse when these days have been recognized as BIP. Why alternating? Because if you have intercourse at night, the following day, your sensation would be wet. Wet due to what? Due to seminal fluid. No? And you, are, uh, you don't have any idea. It might already what? The beginning of the presence of mucus. And you don't see the mucus because of what? Of the seminal fluid. That's why we need to abstain the next day after the intercourse last night. And we need to wait again the, fa the next day no? if the dry days will continue or if the BIP would continue. EDR2 alternates, alternate evenings are available during these days. No? Alternate nights for intercourse. EDR2 alternate evenings are available for intercourse when this have been recognized as BIP. Sperm cannot survive when there is no mucus to allow them to enter the cervix. By waiting until evening, you will know there has been no change from your BIP. What is the meaning of this in Tagalog? Pagising mo sa umaga, ikaw ay tuyo, dapat hanggang gabi. Walang nakitang point of change. Tuyo, BIP. Because if any mucus had been present, you you would have sensed it or seen it come away as you move around during the day. Kaya ang ibig sabihin nito, kapag ikaw ay dry sa umaga at nagkaroon ka ng mucus sa tanghali, hindi ka na pwede mag-alternate evenings. Hindi, wala ng BIP, tapos na. Malalaman mo lamang ikaw ay nasa BIP kung ikaw ay tuyo sa umaga at ito'y mananatili hanggang gabi. Kaya sa gabi lamang ang intercourse. The reason for alternate evenings is because on the day after intercourse, there would be seminal fluid loss which may mask the beginning of the fertile sensation. There are no live sperm cells in this seminal fluid. So kapag ikaw ay nag-intercourse sa gabi, sa umaga nakita mo may seminal fluid ka, yung mga seminal fluid na yon, yung mga sperm doon, lahat ay already dead. No? So early day rule number three, no intercourse on any day of discharge or any type of bleeding which interrupts the BIP. So in Filipino, iwasang mag-intercourse sa panahon na meron ng discharge, mucus. No? Yan, EDR3, alter, uh, EDR3, changing pattern of discharge. Avoid intercourse during the days of discharge. This change is indicating potential fertility. There are two possibilities which I keep on repeating to all of you. There are two possibilities. Maaring ang mucus mo ay magkaroon ng peak day o ang mucus mo hindi mag-end with a slippery sensation, no peak. There are two possibilities. It will lead to the changing developing pattern with the slippery sensation, the identification of the peak, and the application of the peak rule. Or, hindi ka magkakaroon ng peak day, there is no peak day, or the BIP returns, indicating that this was a hormonal change without ovulation. If mucus will not end with the slippery, no peak, no ovulation. Kung walang peak, if there will be no peak, no ovulation, you cannot apply the peak rule. If there will be no peak, there will be no luteal phase. You are still in the early part of your cycle and ovulation will occur at a later time. 
Ayan, di ba? So, nagkaroon ka ng mucus, EDR3 din yun. Kaya lang ang mucus did not end with the slippery. Pag hindi naging slippery, huwag mong nalagyan ng X. 1, 2, 3. On the fourth day, EDR2, alternate evenings. At pag ikaw ay nagkaroon ng mucus at ang mucus mo ay hindi naging slippery, walang peak, walang ovulation, magkakaroon ka ng bleeding. Pero ang bleeding ay hindi menstruation, withdrawal. Kaya pag may withdrawal bleeding at huminto ang withdrawal bleeding, bibila ng tatlong araw na BIP. One, two, three. On the fourth day of the BIP, intercourse is resumed applying EDR2 alternate evenings. Pero kapag ang mucus ay nag-develop into peak, lagyan mo ng X, last day of slippery. Kapag merong peak, may ovulation. Kapag may ovulation, magbilang ka ng tatlong araw na luteal phase. One, two, three. On the fourth day of the luteal, peak rule. Intercourse is every day at any time. Okay? This is the different scenarios of what? of the EDR3. Kapag dumating ang mucus, tandaan lahat nating mga BOM teachers, there are two roads na pwedeng mangyari, two roads that might happen. Either the mucus will proceed into what? Into a slippery sensation ending with the peak day or mucus will not end with the slippery and BIP returns. Okay? If mucus will not end in slippery, no ovulation, no luteal. No peak rule. If BIP returns on the fourth day of the BIP, apply the EDR2, alternate evenings. So these are the rules of the EDR, two scenarios. No? And then the peak rule. The peak rule says from the beginning of the fourth day past the peak, intercourse is available every day at any time. No? So that would be the, the peak rule. So look, the peak rule starts on the fourth day past the peak day, on the fourth day of the luteal phase. Why? You know the reason. Because after the peak, cervix is gradually closing. It takes three days to close. And during the days of 1, 2, 3, sperm can still enter. And ovulation can happen during the peak day, imminent. But there are occasions that ovulation can also take place day 1, day 2 after the peak day. Okay? So these are the different scenarios of the four rules. EDR1, avoid intercourse during the days of menstruation. EDR2, Avoid intercourse, uh, EDR2, I repeat, sorry. Intercourse is available in alternate evenings. EDR3, avoid intercourse during the days of discharge. If there is a peak, on the fourth day past the peak, apply the peak rule. The next EDR3, avoid intercourse during the days of discharge. If the mucus will not end with the slippery, no peak, no ovulation, no luteal, and BIP returns, allow three days of BIP. On the fourth day of the BIP, apply EDR2, alternate evenings. If mucus will not end in slippery, no peak, no ovulation, no luteal, bleeding might commence, and that is a withdrawal bleed. After the withdrawal bleed, allow three days of the BIP. On the fourth day of the BIP, apply EDR2, alternate evenings. This is the entire scenario of the different cycle a woman might experience. No? EDR3 of two types. No peak and an EDR3 with a peak. Okay, so think about how you feel at the vulva. Do not touch or stretch the mucus. Do not make internal observation. No? That is wrong. If you see that in Google, those procedures are wrong. Using the fingers as a way to identify the sensation of the mucus. 
Every day, at the end of your day, write your observation on your chart. You must record the sensation every day. Use a couple of words to describe any discharge that you may see. Use your own words to describe what you feel and what you see. Use your own words. Do not copy the one in the internet, in the Google. Use your own words on how you understand the appearance and the sensation of your mucus secretion. So this is a sample of an entire chart. Days 1 to 5, menstruation. EDR1, avoid intercourse during the days of discharge. 6 to 11, I repeat, dry spotting, 6 to 11, BIP, EDR2, alternate evenings. If intercourse resume at the night of day 6, ang susunod ay day 8, followed by day 11. But if intercourse happened on the night of day 7, the next intercourse would be the night of 9 and the 9 of 11. Okay? So you can start on 6, no? If you start on 6, 6 at night, day 8 at night, and day 10 at night. If you start on day 7, as I mentioned, day 7 at night, day 9 at night, day 11 at night, EDR2. Day 12 is the beginning of the application of the EDR3. Avoid intercourse during the days of discharge. If there is a peak, including what? Including the first three days of the luteal. That is the entire EDR3 starting from day 12 to day 21. Peak rule begins on day 22 until the end of the luteal phase. Okay, until day 30 in this chart. Make sure you keep your appointment to have your chart reviewed, especially for, for your clients. No, tell, tell your clients to be always what? Always ready at night to share their observation. No? If you are uh, what we call this, if you are meeting your clients in a daily uh, accompaniment. So every night you talk via phone, via messenger, etc. No, so always take note of that. No, regular reviews of your chart will ensure all your questions are answered and lead to a better understanding of your own unique cycle. The assistance of an accredited teacher, talaga, accredited teacher of the billing subulation method improves confidence and skills. Okay? So we end with this session. I'll stop the sharing. Okay. Maliwanag po ba? Can I receive feedback from our class? Eh, sorry, no? I will allow you to, to switch on your microphone. Do you have any questions? Clear ba tayo dun sa the, para siyang entire summary no ng basic teacher training course no? So any questions? Okay, Florence, is it, is it clear? Grace, Leilani, Roslyn, Mollery, Heidi, Lian, Elgin, Vincent, and Chudora. Okay, so. Yes, Dr. Joy, you can unmute yourself. Doc, uh, Rally, yung kung, I think I made a mistakes assessment for, yung, kasi hindi ko, you have to observe for three consecutive cycles before you will conclude kung kailan kailan, pwede mag-alternate days of intercourse. Yes, tama po so, kayo, Doc. So, sabihin yung, on, even on the second and third cycle or charting, Pwede nang gumamit ng yellow or equal sign. I thought sa, sa fourth, fourth cycle lang gamit. Pwede na pong gamitin yung equal at saka circle or cir mm -hmm. uh, equal or yellow color on the second cycle pag bumalik uli yung BIP but no intercourse pa. No? Kaya. Okay? Uh, kaya kailangan siyang sa huli sa ikaapat na cycle because of what reason? kailangan nating ma-sure 
na yung client natin ay talagang VIP of discharge. Kapag yan ay na-confirm natin, siya ay habang buhay na ganyan ang pattern. Na pagkatapos ng mens, hindi siya makakaranas nito. Always this one. Kaya lang, magbabago lamang itong VIP niya kapag siya ay nagkaroon na ng edad o nalalapit na siya sa tinatawag nating menopausal. Or magbabago lamang ang kanyang pattern masisira kapag siya ay nag-oral contraceptives. No? Ikaw ay dating VIP of discharge o bakit nagbago na? Hindi ka na. Eh kasi nga nasira yung kanyang cycle due to the presence of artificial hormones coming from oral contraceptive or yung tinatawag natin injectable also. Yun po yun, Dr. Joy. Okay, kaya nga sabi ko, kailangan natin ng review na yun so that we will be able to what? We'll be able to understand yung ating upskilling course, no? Mm-hmm. Okay, nasagot ko po, Dr. Joy. Yes po, thank you. Okay, kay Mollery, ang swelling, swelling ng vulva. Kasi po kapag kayo ay tumataas ng inyong estrogen going to the peak day, yung blood nagra-rush pababa. Kasi very active, di ba? Yung blood kasi ng tao, kung saan ang very active, nandun siya. Kapag ikaw ay nabusog na busog, nagra-rush siya sa stomach. Kaya nang minsan nawawala siya sa iyong brain. Hindi man totally, wala. Meron pa rin ka lang kaunti na. Kaya you feel sleepy because the rush is going towards your stomach because you are very full. Ganun din kapag very active na yung ovaries, no? Talagang hinug na hinug na yung egg at ikaw ay nasa peak na, magra-rush yun yung blood, causing now what we call the swelling of the vulva. Similar to what have, similar sa mga nangyayari sa mga sa mga aso na female, di ba? Namamaga na yung vulva nila, kitang-kita ninyo. Kapag yung vulva hindi namamaga, na ng aso ng female dog hindi yan nakikipag-intercourse no nasasaktan yan kahit merong female male dog no they only allow themselves to have intercourse if the vulva is already swollen okay nasagot ko po ba yan okay maraming salamat din sa iyo Monary no so okay any more questions if not let's have a five uh, yes Florence you're you're, you're raising your hand Yes, good morning po. Good morning, no. Ma'am Florence. Thank you for Kamusta the... po kayo? Please. Are you from Tandag? <laughs> no po, from Davao po. Ah, from Davao. O nga pala si Ma'am Florence. No? Sana pagpunta kami dyan sa Davao in the future. Hopefully. No? No, uh, this is not... Uh, yung question ko po is not with the lessons that we have, but rather mm-hmm. asking on... Uh, kasi nag- I'm giving lectures sa Prikana already. Mm-hmm. Tapos hindi ko pa siya na-implement yung bagong uh, slides that you have given us. Kasi po, uh, kailangan po bang may clearance sa diocese ng uh, Davao before we are going to implement the new slide? Uh, hindi naman po. Pwede, pwede na siyang implement. No? Uh, matutuwa pa yung bishop nyo dyan. Kasi ngayon ang ini-expect nila yung ma-update. No? Ma-update lahat. No? Kaya nga, eto ay CBCP ECFL di ba di ba kung ang kung ang nag-organize nito hindi CBCP ECFL hindi siya po pwede okay kaya ito ay CBCP ECFL kasi ito ay coming from the main office kaya nandito ang ating secretary si Tita Cecil De Villa ng ECFL CBCP ECFL Southern Luzon siya ang nakikipag meeting sa mga bishops no together with Ma'am Brenda regarding this one. Kaya yun po yun. No? Tapos mo Ma'am, Ma'am Florence, nadya kayo sa Davao kasi kayo nag-iisang meron lang update. No? You can ask me for more slides. No? Kung, so para yan. Kasi kayo, no? kayo yung nandyan ngayon. Kasi yung training namin dyan nangyari pa noong 2005. Kasama ko pa si Dr. Rene Bulacer, no? si Ma'am Peggy. Yan. Ang tagal na nun, di ba? 2005. At kinanap yan sa San Pedro Hospital sa Davao. Alam niyo po yun, di ba? Yan ang famous hospital mostly sa mga Catholic people there. San Pedro Hospital. no? So, a long time ago. Eh, 2022 na. No? Baka yung binigyan ko ng training doon, <laughs> hindi ko alam kung nasaan. Eh, di ba? Usually, alam niyo ba, pag ECFL, 
'di ba mga ano mga senior citizen yan 'di ba nag-aattend so baka wala na rin sila no so yung okay. iba so ayo no po. Maraming At pumunta rin, salamat. Oo, pumunta rin ako sa Davao, kaya lang hindi under ng Catholic Church. Noong mga 2000, ang mayor niyo pa si Duterte, si President. Mm. Si President Duterte at ang DOH, in-invite nila ako sa Davao to give seven trainings sa Davao, but only to barangay health workers. Mm. Yun, no? Kaya okay. nakapunta ako sa Davao dyan, sa kay Mayor Duterte. Duterte. Alam ko dyan, Diyan niya ako pinatira sa, sa isang napakagandang hotel katabi ng Ateneo de Davao. Ano yon Sa Marco Polo. Marco Polo Hotel. <laughs> diba kasi, oh, at dyan, ginanap kasi yung training. Ah, eh, kaya okay. doon ko na-realize na si Mayor Duterte para na in fairness, mahal din niya ang natural family planning. Oo, kaya lang, hindi niya may iwasan yung contraceptives kasi yan ay mandate sa buong ban- sa buong mundo. Sa buong mundo yan yes. eh. All countries must have contraceptives kasi ano yan eh, as a respect do sa mga couple na gustong mag-practice no. Diba? Kasi hindi ba sila pwedeng pilitin. No? So, yan ay services. Pero nakita ko sa kanya, yung kahit merong contraceptives, nagkaroon siya ng programa for natural family planning during the days na siya ay mayor. Seven times akong paulit-ulit na pumunta dyan to train. Wow. No? Kaya lang, na- namatay din yata yung program kasi uh, tawag dito ay um, ang sabi ko kasi ganito, kapag yung mga barangay health workers nagtuturo sila ng contraceptives, dapat hindi sila magtuturo ng NFP. Dapat ang magtuturo ng natural family planning, yung barangay health workers, hindi magtuturo ng contraceptives. Kasi pag tinuro lahat yon mahihirapan siya kawawa. Hindi, mahihirapan siya ituro yung NFP. Kaya sabi ko ngayon, ang recommendation ko in the future, kung ang isang, gobi, ang isang municipality mag, gusto nila magkaroon ng NFP sa barangay, kailangan merong teacher talaga na NFP lang hindi magtuturo ng contraceptives. Kasi pag siya magkasama, hindi niya na mabibigyan ng pansin yung NFP. Tata, diba totoo yun? Yun po ang yes. nangyari. No? Yun ang nangyari. Kaya it dies because hindi kakayali ng teacher na barangay health worker na ituro lahat sabay-sabay. May, may iwanan yung NFP. Kasi nga, syempre, mas makakafocus siya sa contraceptives which is more easy to teach. Yun lang eh. Ito kasi, ang contraceptives kasi walang accompaniment. Diba? Ibigay mo yung pills, o oh, haba, bahala na siya sa buhay niya. Basta inibig niya araw-araw. Pag siya ay naglagay ng IUD, bahala na siya sa buhay niya. Wala nang intervention ng barangay health workers. Pero kapag natural family planning, it requires accompaniment, di ba? Until the couple gains mastery of the topic. You all, no? Brother Rally, requirement po yan sa... Opo, tama po kayo. Ang galing po ni Brother Demi no? from Novaliches Diocese. No? Requirement kasi siya siyang yung mga, mga contraceptives. Kaya siyempre kung ako barangay health workers, wala na akong time mag-accompaniment ng popon. Di ba? Hmm. Sino mang gumagawa ng ganyan? Oh. Ang gagawa na naman talaga niyan, nas yung ano, ECFL. Kaya lang ang problem din, kasi sa simbahan kaya hindi tayo makapush through, hindi lahat naman ng mga family and life workers kayang mag-accompany me in NFP. Kasi matrabaho yun eh. Halimbawa si Tita Cecil, ay accompany, tuturuan ko kayo ng katikisim tuwing Sabado. Madali magturo ng katikisim. Kasi you are sharing na, pero pag ano, NFP billings, nagsishare ka na ng knowledge, tinitignan mo pa yung skill. Kaya sa lahat ng programa ng simbahan, ang NFP ang pinakamahirap because it requires a real accompaniment and dedication. Yan. Kaya nga, yun dapat ma-reach natin. Ma-reach, no? Bago ako mag-senior. <laughs> Bago ako mag-senior. No? At manghina. Yun, kaya ito yung goal ng ECFL, no? To train, no? Kahit may pandemic online. Nag-i-start na kami mag-on-site ngayon, no? So, etong October, mag-on-site na ang Diocese of Tandag. Nung nakaraan, linggo, nag-on-site na ang Diocese of Bulacan. So, little by little, no? So, pero kahit merong on-site, meron pa rin online. The online continues. No? Kasi online, kahit pa paano, 
we are able to learn. No? Yun po, Ma'am Florence. No? I hope I will nasa, nasa good po. po. Yes, Salamat. Salamat. Meron pa po bang questions? Ay, si Ma'am Paz, you're raising your hand. Yes, Ma'am Paz. Ay, Doc, pa-review naman. Pa-review lang po ng assessment number four at ako'y doon po. <laughs> Ma'am, nireview po natin siya kanina, 8.30 to 9. Kung Apo. hindi po kayo naka-attend, na, nandito na wala, hindi po kayo naka-attend, no? Ah, uh, hindi. Doc, itatanong ko lang din eh. Oh, sige, tanong niyo po. Uh, yung, hindi malinaw sa akin, yung yung post po ay yung pag-apply natin ng VIP. Ito po, ito, ito po. Tingnan niyo po ito. Apo. Okay? Ina-apply po yung VIP sa ikaapat na cycle. So, doon ko nakikita. Opo. Sa unang cycle, kapag nakakita ng mucus pagkatapos ng men's circle. Okay. Diba? Pag yung mucus hindi nagbabago, unchanging. Dry, cloudy, dry, cloudy. Sa second cycle, ang sasabihin nyo, gawin na siyang equal sign or yellow. Okay. Oh, Pero no intercourse pa. No, ang no, intercourse no. lang ay nasa peak rule. Fourth day past the peak. Nakuha po natin, ma'am pass. Opo, opo. Sa third cycle, pagkatapos ng mens, nagkaroon uli ng unchanging pattern of discharge. Ang symbol ay equal or yellow color. Wala pa rin intercourse. Yes. Ang intercourse parate ay nasa fourth day past the peak. Peak rule lang. Sa ikaapat na cycle, doon pa lamang natin masasabi sa ating client na ikaw ay 100% na BIP of unchanging pattern of discharge. So doon po i-apply yung... Doon ka ngayon mag alternate evening sa ikaapat na Sa BIP. Clear po? Okay po. Maliwanag po. Okay. So clear? So meron pa pong questions. Kung wala, tayo po ay magsisimula ng 10.25 no? hanggang 11. Mag-break po na tayo for our next session on upskilling course. I hope lahat po natututo. So with that, you can drink water, go to the comfort room,